So this is it, y'all. Finished all the trials, finished all the bosses, except for, you know, the final boss. It's time to go uh, finish the game. Back down. Bottom of the waterfall, head left. And when you can. Hit the bench. Back to luncheon. I'm gonna talk to Blackberry. Talk to Chicory. Oops, don't go in the tower. I keep doing that. And when you get the cool zoom out here, just go ahead and start burning up the, the branches. You can also skip the cutscene, but you know, try and get the stuff burning early. Um, there's no need to do any kind of early skip here at this point. Fingers. Oh, but one thing. Ooh, one thing. You can skip cutscenes with the text. Do not. If you're skipping the screen transitions as cutscenes, don't do that here. You will be here forever. The game is counting how many screens you move through, and it's doing it during the screen transition. So that's plus one. Let, and I don't think going backward counts. So that's plus one. That'd be plus two. If you skip, that's plus zero. You're going to skip that command more often than not, and you'll be here for a lot longer than you need to be. Just walk it out. skip this as a cutscene until the uh, brush cursor appears on the screen if that makes sense. I've been saying this for every boss fight in this game and it has never been more true than in this fight um if an opening like that opens up for you to deal damage you want to take it cycles in this boss fight are very very long so you want to be keep you want to keep your mouse cursor close um we'll talk about whether or not uh, you want to play super aggressive and like always be painting or not um as we cycle through the phases here uh, but if you miss a damage cycle, that's a very, very long, big time loss you could be eating, unfortunately. Because you can see how long some of these patterns are uh, between the shield dropping. Didn't necessarily need to demonstrate it for the video, but here we are. There we go. They know. Really? What a jerk. Come on. Thank you. Alright, next phase. And this is a couple cutscenes, but next phase. Dark Pizza. You need to use the mirror brush to deal damage again. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I'm not very good with this mirror brush. But you're gonna want to use the mirror brush until um, a very obvious um, cycle change happens. There we go. So now Evil Pizza's following us around in the Corrupted Brush. You want to dodge all of the, the stamps that are coming on the ground. They're going to deal, deal damage to you. And you want to make one of these bubbles hit Dark Pizza without you getting hit. There we go. And use the Mirror Brush again. Don't use your brush. Use the Mirror Brush. Dodge, 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 waiting for an opportunity to strike. Come on. Come on. Drop some bubbles. Die. Okay, that hit. That hit. That hit. You just don't get the special animation the second time, but that hit. All right. So, for this fight against um, Chicory, 
Uh, you'll see if you try to deal damage, Evil Trick is just going to keep teleporting and phasing out of existence. I have found that in this particular phase, um, on average, um, the cycle's going to take around, uh, I think around a minute 10. That's skippable. Uh, whether or not you stay aggressive. However, I've gotten a very short split by constantly painting. Like 10 or 15 seconds. I don't get it every time now. I get it very rarely. Which makes you wonder if there's something else going on on that split on that attempt perhaps. But I've only gotten the super quick phase by being super aggressive and constantly painting um, evil trickery. As opposed to just staying passive. Now in the next phase, it's completely opposite. We'll talk about it when we get there. Uh, but right now I want to say I'm, I'm even hitting the wrong one. I'm being so aggressive. Stay on evil trickery and keep painting keep making your teleport um if good trickery is supposed to land a hit i found that evil trickery will kind of just teleport into it which is why i think you can just stay stay so aggressive here uh, but again it usually takes around a minute minute 15 to get through this cycle all things since you know what all the things being equal that's the average i've just gotten some much better um, spikes in that now for this blackberry phase complete opposite um i got a nice big fat 15 second time save by not painting constantly and letting good chicory just be able to aim um and fire when she can we've seen uh we've seen these patterns before though nothing too new here um, other than after we deal some damage we're gonna need to save our friend here in a second. In a second. We're gonna need to save her. Okay. We're gonna wait a while for that uh, cycle, I suppose. Okay, being awful nice. There we go. Just wanna make sure you get uh, Chicory loose, because you're not gonna be able to do anything until she is. <clears throat> Again, you wanna keep the cursor close. But I found inking, um... I've had a two minute split here, constantly inking, um, average about 145 either way, but I've had a two minute spike inking and I've had a 130 split not inking. Now it probably just needs more, um, you know, more, more test data, more attempts, and maybe it doesn't matter in the end. It, it may not, but that's the data I'm, I'm working off of. It's not like I've sat here and done a, a thousand attempts or anything crazy like that. Uh, nor do I plan to. That's not really how I enjoy my speedruns. Um, I haven't even played this game casually since it's been released yet. So it, it, I'd like to do that at some point. Uh, but we'll get there. Skip. You don't need to watch this. Last phase. And it's got this bubble. So just stay on it it's not gonna teleport or nothing can't make it go fast i can't make it go slower you just want to make sure you're you're there to deal the damage there are uh, quite a few patterns we're gonna see here this is a really cool part of the fight don't forget you can jump and here you can jump over the ink on the ground Remember, that's just a line attack. I think sometimes in my head, I think I'm I'm playing um, Jezval or something. And I keep thinking like the the short end of the divide there is gonna blow up with ink, but it's not. It's just a line AOE. You don't have to get out of the corner if you don't want to. If if you can't, um, just don't be too close to the line. Don't walk into don't walk into damage either. That's generally a uh, bad idea. See what I mean? It's just the line. The, the inside of that circle, if you will, didn't blow up. This Kaleidoscope 
kaleidoscope pattern is pretty cool. I don't know what you call it. I call it a kaleidoscope pattern. It's really cool, but it's also kind of distracting. It, it's, it'll sometimes get me because I'm just so busy looking at all the pretty colors. There we go. And time will stop either when you skip this cutscene or when it fades to white. Um, I'd like to make timer maybe stop on last hit so that you could watch the explosion of colors off the timer. So we may do that. I may go retime some runs on the leaderboard. But that's it. That is it for Chikori. Thank you for uh, reading through the whole guide. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can always tag me on Twitter at Sushikishi. Uh, you can find me on the Discord at Sushikishi0521. Um, I believe it's the tag number. Um, on the Chikori Discord or, you know, anywhere else on Discord, you might run into me. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can ask in the Discord. You can tag me on Twitter. Uh, we'll be glad to help you out. If you find anything wrong in the guide, let me know that too, so I can get it updated and correct it. Other than that, enjoy the game, enjoy the runs. Have a good one. Oh, Yasushi Masai.